killing the carp is only one part of a bigger picture, isn't it? We've got the habitat, we've got all these other things that are going to play a massive role in making these rivers essentially what they used to be. Yeah, look, as, as effective as this virus will be, it's not a silver bullet. What it will do is it'll buy us a window of opportunity to do a range of really um, uh, effective coordinated measures, not, to, not just to control carp, but to promote recovery of native fish. Now that in turn will help to suppress the carp numbers because of course the more cod, the more, more golden perch we have, uh, the, you know, the higher the predation rate on what remaining carp are in the system. Um, but when we release the virus, we need to be ready for the eventuality that carp will try, that the carp population will slowly rebound because they, they're incredibly reproductive. One female fish can carry a million eggs. So what we need to do is release this virus um, and then continue to release the virus each year to continue to knock off the juvenile carp as, they, as they're born and grow out. We need to start to invest straight away in a more effective strain of the virus to have on the shelf ready to go in case we start to see the carp numbers recover. And we need to continue to invest in things like genetic technology, that daughterless carp thing I mentioned earlier, so that once we, once we knock down the carp population um, by a significant amount, we've got the next tool ready to go to, to unleash to basically end the job.